Hey guys, it's Taylor again. Uh, I was watching the video I did yesterday and I uh, noticed I hadn't mentioned anything about my ropes and what holds me in the tree. And uh, s Several of you have asked about you know how my prusik works in the past and uh, so I figured I'd do a little video about how it works and what, d what makes it tick and keeps me in the tree alive. <laughs> Um, we're about 30 feet up in a white oak. It's a beautiful tree, really. Um, no top, no center lead, which makes it a little hard to climb. So what I've done is got my line in one side of the tree, and I'm working on this side of the tree. And then I'm going to get my line up there and do the rest of it from on that side. Um, a little bit about the Prusik. This particular type of Prusik is a class of knots. They're basically sliding hitches, if, if you want to call them that. Um, this one's called the Michigan Prusik. It's made by a guy named Martin in, in, uh, in Mexico. He came up with it. He's an arborist in Mexico, I guess. Um, what makes Prusiks different is how they grip the rope, where they, where along the, the knot they grip, um, how many turns or wraps make up the friction part. See this? These three wraps right here, one, two, three, kind of, are what, um, supply all the friction. This bit down here, uh, let's come around this side, uh, this, this part right here pulls down on the column basically and twists it to the side, kind of like, kind of like that, and helps it grip. And this bit, see it comes down here and it goes under under this standing line here and comes down. So this, when I um, drop it, you can see it kind of folds up a little, like a like a like a zigzag. Sorry, kind of zigzags. You can see a little better right here. Maybe. Oh, there we go. It kind of it crunches up a little bit, and I I'm trying to hold it still. It's kind of a two hands operation most of the time, hopefully. But um, these are the ones that supply the friction. And this bit um, uh, pulls on this one, which tilts the column over and grabs the knot. Uh, this cord is has a core of fiber called 10x. It's a very high heat resistant fiber that uh, it does it, it's, it's a very high melting temperature and this sheath is a uh, spun no mix like to make firefighters clothes out of so uh, it's very hard to uh, all right. yep all right um, so yeah so it's very very heat resistant because um, you have a lot of friction I mean they're gonna I can come down here like this, and it's it's a little warm, but it's this this knot is very good at dissipating the heat because it's spread over a whole lot of turns. Um, sorry, I'm switching you around here a lot. Arms getting a little tired. Uh, this is a pulley, and when I want to go up, I pull I pull this up, and it pulls it pushes on the knot from the bottom, and it it, it sorry. <laughs> I pull on this, and it advances the knot by pushing it on the from it on the bottom, and so it doesn't uh, bind. I gotta get down here where I can stand. My arms getting real tired. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, also carrying a 20 pound. Uh, there we go. All right. Also carrying a 20-pound chainsaw. There we go. 
but yeah, um, this is called the anchor bend, or anchor, yeah, anchor bend, and it's a, it's my favorite knot, <laughs> one of my favorite knots, but yeah, uh, here is my, uh, lanyard, when I want to move this, I throw this around something and clip it to the other side of my saddle so it's around the trunk so, so that I have a secondary uh, method of, uh, it's, a, it's called a safety lanyard, so it's a secondary method of being tied in. It's, uh, it's locking. See if I try and open the gate, it won't open. But if I, as soon as I push this back gate in right there, it unlocks it. So it's, it's very simple easy to open, e easy to close kind of method. Um, we have our straps which are usually yeah, yeah these are mostly uh, 7,000 pound straps <laughs> so they'll hold you. Um, but yeah, uh, that's about it. Uh, we got our locking carabiners. They are triple action, so you have three actions you need to do to open it. You got to push the ball in, then twist it, and then open the gate. One, two, three. Those are pretty cool. Uh, got my. Uh, a little ascender, another micro pulley, a figure eight further around. Got my ladder hook for hanging stuff on. That's what I clip the, the lanyard for the chainsaw on. So it's tied in too. But yeah. Uh, if you've got any questions, ask them or whatever. Talk to y'all later.